Greetings folks, I'm Tom and welcome to Monster Gab, where we normally, usually, like to talk about classic and vintage horror, but not today. No, because this episode is part of a series that I like to call Off Topic, where every now and then we talk about things that are not related to horror for a change. Why? Because it's my channel and I'll do what I want, okay? And so, in this episode, I'd like to talk to you all about a music album that I released last year called New Friends. And no, this is not some kind of cheap ploy to get more people to listen to my album, okay? Well, I suppose it kind of is in a way. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. No, the point behind this video is to actually explain the process behind releasing a music album on major streaming platforms, and how easy that process actually is. Now, I've no doubt that there are plenty of amateur singers and musicians out there who would probably watch this video and roll their eyes or shake their head and say, Tom, I've been releasing music on streaming platforms for years, and that's totally fine, good for you. But I didn't realise how easy the process was up until a couple of years ago when I noticed some of my musical friends were doing this. Now, call me a bit of a dinosaur, I'm not the most technological person, and yes, I can get by on a computer or a mobile phone, but I'm no expert, and I've no doubt that there are others in the same boat who are singers or musicians who would love to get their music out there, but don't quite know how. Now, for any of you who may be interested and want to check my music out, it is available on Spotify, it's on iTunes or Apple Music, it's on Amazon Music, it's on YouTube Music, it's on Deezer, and I think it's on SoundCloud too. Basically, it's on all of the major streaming platforms. I am a bit old school when it comes to music, and I still collect and buy physical media, CDs to be precise, and I'll probably be buying CDs until the end of my days. Now, when it comes to releasing my own music, I also used to put together physical CDs, uh, like this one, for instance. Now, this isn't actually on any uh, streaming platform yet. Uh, I may, may have to upload it. This is an album that I released back in 2016, called You'll Have To Do Better Than That, and um, it's not really cost effective. I mean, first of all, I don't intend to make any money out of my music. That's not the reason why I produce it. If you want to do so, that, that's great. Go ahead and do that. If you want to make a career out of music, all the more power to you. For me personally, I just love to do it as a hobby, and I just want people to hear it. So I have no intention of, of selling it. Um, however, it's not cost effective. I mean, first of all, when it comes to physical media like CDs, there's the cost of the cases, the blank discs, uh, the ink and, and the paper or, or whatever is used for the artwork, uh, and the fact that I'm not charging people for these as well, um, you know, it costs a lot of money to put together. And then there's also the fact that you don't know if people are actually going to listen to it when you hand them out. I mean, I've handed them out to people, and I've no doubt some people have listened to this album, but some people may have just used it to prop up a chair leg. Now, when it comes to releasing your music onto major streaming platforms, you need to find yourself a distributor. And depending on which distributor you go with, it doesn't actually have to cost you a penny to release your music. The other benefit of releasing your music this way is the fact that it's so easy to access and anyone can access it anywhere around the world. And for those who genuinely are interested in hearing your music can do so with ease. The distributor that I went with was Rootnote.com. Now, I'm not sponsored by Rootnote, and this is not an advertisement for them. It just happened to be the distributor that I went with. But I found a lot of benefits with using this company. First of all, like I said, it didn't cost me a penny. If I was to make any revenue off any of my songs, they just take 15%. And to me, that's fine, because like I said earlier, I'm not in it for the money anyway. And I don't think I have enough listeners to warrant making any money, but that's not the point behind it. So I actually thought that was really convenient, because they do all the hard work for you. The other benefit as well is they released it on every major streaming platform. So not just one or two, but pretty much all of the big ones. So like I said, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, uh, Deezer, SoundCloud, Napster, I don't know, whatever you can think of, all the major ones, they just cover it. What I also loved about using Rootno is how helpful they were. Um, I had a couple of issues with my album and they were really prompt 
when I emailed them and they replied straight back and they sorted the issues out. One of the issues I had was um, I was originally using my name, Tom Goss, but it turns out there's another artist out there called Tom Goss and I didn't want my music to get entirely confused with his and he's quite popular too. <laughs> um, so I wanted to change my name to Tom H. Goss. And I'm not going to tell you what the H stands for, by the way, but by all means, have fun with it and guess in the comments section if you want to. Um, but they allowed me to do that. And in the process of uploading my music, they allowed me to change it on all the tracks and even the album art. Um, and then I also had an issue where uh, my music, for some reason, didn't get released on Amazon Music. And it was one of the platforms I really wanted to be on. Uh, so again, a quick email and they just sorted it out for me straight away. And within 24 hours, the problem was solved. So again, this isn't an advertisement for Rootnote or anything. Um, you know, the, there are other great distributors out there. I think CD Baby is supposed to be quite good. Um, but I just, I just found them really helpful and really reliable. And so I personally would recommend them. As for the quality of your music, it's really not that relevant. I mean, it's entirely up to you how much you polish your music. I'm not going to explain to you how to do it. I've got my own kind of domesticated recording studio. And um, by that, I mean, I've got got a dedicated room with a couple of computers, some software on there, a keyboard and some other instruments. Um, but you can hire a recording studio if you really want to get a polished sound, or you can be incredibly kind of rustic and just record it on whatever means you have. Uh, the beauty of that is, is you can still release it. As, as long as you are happy with, with what you've produced, you can pretty much release anything. I mean, you can release yourself farting in the bath if that's really what you want to do. I don't think there's any kind of limit as far as I, I'm aware. So a few technological things that I will explain is, first of all, uh, my music had to be on MP3 and I thought, well, that's easy enough. Normally I record my music in a uh, wave format and then I convert it but that's not enough. It's got to be a particular size, I think, or a particular type of MP3. I, I can't remember, but uh, again, the distributors will explain that on their web page. Um, I found an online converter, a free online converter that sorted it out for me, uh, converted all of my songs into the correct MP3 format. Again, it was really, really easy to do. The other thing as well is you will need some kind of album art. And again, you can't just use anything. It's either got to represent your band or your music in some way. You can't just use some kind of copyrighted image or, or someone else's image, which is kind of obvious, I suppose. Um, but it's also got to be a particular size too. It can't just be a square. It's got to be a particular size. But again, most of these distributors will have um, links on their websites that will show you how to change the size of your image if you need to and again i did that somewhere i can't, can't remember how i did it but um i was able to crop my image so that it was the correct size to fit with you know the album art when it gets displayed on all of the streaming platforms for instance so all I will say is, if you are interested in releasing music, um, obviously you've got to record it somehow. So find a good means of recording your music. If you don't have any kind of you know, technology at home, you know, hire a recording studio or get someone to help you. Once you've recorded your music, you literally just need to find an online distributor. Now, I've mentioned Root Note because I just think that's a really easy method, but you can use whoever you want. I mean, whatever you think is comfortable or, or more beneficial to you, go with them. You then need some kind of album art. It could be a photograph of you, or you can get someone to make something for you if you want something a bit more professional. And again, you've just got to make sure that your music is a particular type of MP3 and your album art is of a particular size. Unfortunately, I, I can't remember the, the correct terminology, but most distributors will tell you what you need. and You've just got to go online. You'll be able to convert them. It's, it, it is really quite simple. Once you've uploaded your music and your album art to the distributor, they usually take a couple of weeks to kind of analyze uh, what you're releasing, you know, making sure that there's no issues with copyright or that you are genuinely releasing what you say you are releasing. Providing everything's all kosher, you select a release date and your music will just be released on all of the major streaming platforms. And it really is as easy as that. 
So as we come to the closing of this video, I suppose I'll just talk a little bit about my album that I released last year called New Friends. Um, it's an album that I wrote and recorded during uh, the main part of the pandemic when we were all isolating and in lockdown. There are a couple of covers on there, but I basically recorded and produced the entire album myself. Uh, all of the vocals, all of the you know instrumentation, um, yeah, I, to be honest, I did it kind of as an experiment and because there wasn't really much else to do. Um, but I'm really pleased with it. And, you know, if you are interested, check it out. It's kind of soft rock or piano rock, if you like. Um, kind of been inspired by artists such as Elton John, Billy Joel, uh, Jim Steinman as well. Um, so by all means, check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. Now, folks, I will get back to the horror stuff shortly, but the channel will be quiet for about a month or so. And the reason being is because I'm actually performing in a show in Ireland with a band called Featherbed. Totally check them out, by the way. I'll leave another link in the description to their Facebook page or something. Um, I'm performing with Featherbed. And in fact, on my album, there's a song on there called When I'm With You, which is a cover of a Featherbed song. And uh, I'm totally excited to do it, but I need to commit as much time as possible to rehearsing for that show so i won't be filming anything for this channel in that time but as soon as i come back we'll get straight back onto the horror stuff and everything will be back to normal i totally promise so guys i hope you did like my video or at least some of you may have found it insightful and if you didn't well i don't know what to tell you i'm sorry okay i'm trying my best anyway thank you so much for stopping by and i know today's episode wasn't really horror related but i've still got to do my bit right I don't know who they are, but if you don't subscribe, they will get you. So make sure you are indeed subscribed. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video here on Monster Gab. Be sure to hit the like button if you did indeed the, like the video and leave a comment down there. And if you want to, have a guess at what my middle name is. It does begin with a H, by the way, but I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> have fun with that. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.